Hello and welcome to Creative Nerds. In this screencast, we will be sharing with you how you can apply an effect to multiple images within Photoshop in a matter of minutes and how you can resize down an image within Photoshop within a matter of minutes also. So to do this, we're going to be using the Photoshop batch feature, which is really good for being able to work on multiple images. So we're going to start off by selecting an image from our selection of images that we want to apply the effect to into Photoshop and then we are going to create a Photoshop action so we want to start off by selecting window actions creating a action folder group so we're going to call it custom add a set of actions and we are going to create a new file we're going to call it black and white now any effects or anything that you do within Photoshop now will be recorded as an action. So we want to start off by selecting image, image size, and selecting the width to be 3000 pixels. So this will allow us to resize down all of those images in the folder to be 3000 pixels. And then we also want to apply an effect to our images. So select image, adjustment, black and white, and then select OK. From there, we want to So let's layer from background, so that's okay. Right click on our image again and we just set flatten image. And then we are going to set file, save as. And we're just going to save it in this folder location, black and white. Save. And then set okay for the maximum quality. And then we're going to stop our Photoshop action. Now we're going to apply that action to our batch of images that we have. So we're going to head over to File, Automate, Batch, and we're going to select our Photoshop action group that we created, which was called Custom. Our action was called Black and White. Now we want to choose a source, which is a folder, and then we can choose the path where that folder is, which contains all the images which we want to apply that Photoshop action to. So select folder and then we want to ensure that the suppression options are both ticked and then we want to also log the errors to a file. So if there is any errors within processing any image within the batch it will log it within a text file and then move on to the next image. Then we want to choose a destination where we want the images to be saved to once the first shot action has been ran. Then we want to select that location black and white close it and then we have the ability to add an extension to the files that we are going to be saving so we could add an extension of a unique digital serial number or a serial letter extension to each of the files to make it a bit more unique to understand, so we can decipher between the raw images and the new images once you're happy with all of those settings Select so OK and then the batch, automated batch command will start running through all of the images within that folder and just keep processing them until each image has been applied with the black and white effect and been resized down to 3000 pixels. Depending on how many images you have will depend on how long it will take to do but usually it takes a matter of minutes to do so. So if we go to our folder where the batch command is being run and, pro and images have been exported to we can see that we have a selection of images now that are black and white and are 3000 by 2000 pixels so this is a great little tutorial for saving you a ton of time when working in Photoshop I hope this is a useful tutorial thanks for watching and stay tuned to Creative Nerds for quick tips on how to use Photoshop